Hi everyone, my name is Jason Galbraith and it is a privilege to spend a few uh, minutes with you today for this midweek devotion. My wife Cheryl and our daughters Amy and Kelly have been part of the Bethel family for a long time. Not to age myself, but in fact Cheryl and I were married at the uh, the old Bethel location in Edmonton before Bethel moved to Sherwood Park. So. There you go. We live on a farm just west of Tofield, uh, where we have a couple of horses, a few chickens, and have raised bison for over 20 years. And uh, I work for Alberta Agriculture in the Camrose office uh, for approximately the same amount of time uh, as a livestock specialist. So today I want to talk to you about perspective. And the word perspective has uh, many definitions in the dictionary, including a specific point of view in understanding or judging things or events, especially one that shows them in their true relationship to another. Well, Jesus has the perspective of one who truly understands events in their true relationship to one another, transcending time, generations, life and death, his perspective is one that understands our life as it fits with God's purpose. And Jesus' perspective on situations can be seen in, in many scenarios in the Gospels. Uh, in Matthew 14, verse 13 to 21, we can read an account of Jesus feeding the 5,000. And one interesting point is when his disciples told Jesus in verse 15 that this is a remote place and it's getting late. Send the crowds away so they can go to the villages and buy themselves some food. And Jesus replied to them, they don't need to go away. You give them something to eat. And of course they replied, but we only have five loaves and two fish. So Jesus said, bring them to me. And we know that the food was multiplied and all the people were fed. The disciples were likely trying to be helpful. Their perspective was that people need to eat and they had nowhere near enough food. Their, their perspective did not include the possibility of multiplying the food. Jesus' perspective was that he had compassion on the people and would multiply the food and provide for the people that were gathered around him for healing and teaching, and etc. Another example is when he was arrested in Matthew 26 verse 47 to 55. And when the men stepped forward to arrest Jesus, one of his followers struck the guard and cut off his ear. And Jesus told him to put the sword away. And he said in verse 53 and four, do you think that I cannot call on my father and he will at once put at my disposal more than 12 legions of angels? But how then would the scriptures be fulfilled? You see, his perspective was judging the events in true relationship with one another in that scripture needed to be fulfilled. Our perspective can change based on things that happen. We can have the same family, the same house, same studies, same job, and then something happens that can change our perspective. A home renovation can change our perspective on the same house, but look through a different lens or standpoint. We recently had some new flooring installed in our house, and I, and I notice it looking cleaner, more uniform. And while it's the same old house, I have a new perspective on it. I like it better. Illness, relationships, travel, retirement, graduations, weddings, birth of children or grandchildren can all dramatically change our perspective on priorities, what we spend our time on, and our purpose. Another example of something that has changed my perspective of time and busyness in our household is the addition of a new puppy to the mix. Meet Rocky. He is an 11 week old golden shepherd who does not want to sit on my lap anymore. A golden retriever, German, German shepherd cross. And before we had Rocky, I thought we were pretty busy at home and thought maybe I didn't always get enough sleep. Well, now I've changed my perspective on busyness at home and of sleep. He is determined to move 
all of our shoes from the entryway into the dining area and figures that tea towels hanging in the kitchen are put there for him to grab and run to his bed with. That being said, he brings joy to our lives and we are excited to have him as a companion and a farmhand for years to come. So changing perspectives can help us in problem solving or to better appreciate what we have and can help us see what is truly a priority. Asking other people for their point of view on a situation can also give us another perspective on a situation or problem. Most importantly, asking and trusting God for wisdom and discernment in situations taps into the best perspective of all. We can take comfort in knowing that we can talk to and get a perspective on our lives from our loving God, one who has the perspective of being since the beginning of time, has overcome death through Jesus' resurrection, and promises a life everlasting with him. So let's have a prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you love us and that we can come to you in prayer. Help us to be intentional about learning from your perspective, about your plan for our lives and for opportunities to love others. Amen. Thank you.